What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, child, let me scoot over. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Lady Nika. Um, and with a review for last Tuesday night's episode of the Have and Have Nots. Y'all, I don't know the, the season, the day of the episode, or the name of the episode. Y'all gotta forgive me for that. I have it down in that, that description box, uh, on the video, but right at this moment, I don't know y'all shit. Anyway, y'all, how y'all been doing? I hope everybody's had a fairly decent week. It's almost Friday. And before I start this video, child, let me tell y'all something. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to do a separate upload and explain to y'all what just happened to me at this nail shop. See, y'all think, y'all like my story. I'm going to tell you about what happened today, baby. I done got banned out of somewhere else. But anyway, uh... We'll talk about it on the next damn video that I'm going to do after this. I don't want to mix up my review with some other stuff. But let me just start. Let me let me let y'all know. If there's anything you want me to talk about tomorrow on The Real World Now with Lady Nika, that's my trending topics and things y'all want to hear me, my opinion about, please check my Twitter and my Facebook and let me know what it is. Don't send it to my email because with the exception of three people, I don't really just get a notification about my no my email, and I may record prior to actually checking emails tomorrow. So, if you want to make sure that you get it in, put it, check my um, Facebook at Nika Williams. And if you it, that's something else before I start, yeah. If y'all hit, if y'all trying to become my friend on Facebook, I don't mind. I don't mind nobody. Uh, this ain't working, man. Okay. I don't mind adding you to my Facebook. I mean, you know, if I you get too crazy, I, I know what to do. But, you know, for the most part, everybody that I have let into my Facebook, they are very respectful. And, you know, we talk there and everything else. I don't have no trolls or nothing like that. But if you are trying to uh, hit me up uh, via Facebook, because I got like 85 people still waiting and i don't know where they come from so unless i see that we got mutual friends like miss nika to get over you or mike b or something like that if, if i don't when i look and i don't see no youtuber's name on there i don't know how you affiliated with me and so that's why you probably sitting and waiting like i said it's 85 as of noon today they're sitting and waiting because I don't really know where they're coming from. So if you're trying to become my friend on Facebook, please let me know in my comment section and let me know what your Facebook name is. <coughs> and I'll be more than happy to let you on my Facebook and my Twitter. My Twitter has been shut down. It, well, it ain't shut down. It's locked because I had some trolls wanting to play games with me on on, on Facebook. I mean, on Twitter. And I, I, I don't play that shit, baby. I, you know... I use my social media sites to, you know, basically support other YouTubers or anything else I feel that needs supporting. And it ain't for you to decide it, you know, on my Twitter or my Facebook, you want to come and say something negative about me. The best thing to do if you don't like me is simply don't watch. Because if you say something to me, you can rest assured I'm going to give it back to you. Don't think I'm no punk bitch because I be nice on, on uh, you know, on YouTube and I don't attack people. That don't mean I don't have the ability to clap back. It just means that I'm not here for the, the, the drama. So I try to avoid it at all costs. I let you do so much, so much before I shut your ass completely down. And I don't, I don't you know, I, when I say shut you down, it ain't necessarily going to mean that I'm going to block you. It might mean I might cuss you the fuck out. And I don't have no fucks to give after I do that. So if you're trying to be my friend on Facebook, let me know so I can go ahead and accept you. Um... You're welcome to follow me on Twitter. I try to follow everybody back, although I don't follow everybody back. If you let me know, I'm here for you. I, I'm not trying to close myself off to people at all. But understand that if you do decide to come on either one of my platforms, and well, either of the three platforms, be it my Facebook, my Twitter, or on my channel, please come with respect. Because if you don't respect me, I damn sure ain't going to respect you. I, I'm sweet, but it's another side of me, and you're going to probably hear about it when I tell y'all this next story about how I done got kicked out this damn nail shop and can't go back. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. Anyway, um, again, 
If you want me to talk about something, I have. If you're already on my Twitter and Facebook, you should have already seen the post. But if you're not, go check my post out. And if you don't mind, so that it'll be easy for me and I don't have to leave nobody out, please put down there the link to the story you're talking about or whatever topic you want me to discuss. If it's new, some please give me some receipts, a link or something, or tell me why I can go and look at it. I don't mind going research. And if it's something personal to you that you want me to talk about. If you're on my Facebook, you're able to DM me or uh, inbox me. I think that's what they call it on Facebook. And if you're on my Twitter and I followed you back and it's private, you can DM me. If you on my if I if you're following me and I'm not following you back, then tweet me and let me know you're trying to talk to me and I'll follow you back so that you can DM me, okay? We got that? Good. Now, if y'all don't give me nothing to talk about, there won't be no in the news tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be real. I I just, I mean, I only do this, this segment only comes because that's what you all like to hear me talk about. Nobody offers me nothing to talk about, then I probably won't do a in the news this week. A.K.A. the real world now. Let me say the real world now so I have to cuss a motherfucker out for trying to tell me I just took something again. If you want me to talk about it, say it. Now, we six minutes into this shit, and I'm, I have been talking about stuff that really ain't relating to what this video about. Like I said, this is the haves and have-nots, honey, and I want to come in and have a conversation with y'all, because y'all, on this episode, and oh, pre let me preference this also. Child, I don't remember this shit in order no more. I just remember what I saw. So if if my shit jumbled all up, y'all, it's not gonna go scene by scene. I know some of y'all like that about me that I do scene by scene, but I don't remember shit today Thursday. I'm gonna try to do what I can. How about that? And if I forget some, y'all know I be in them comments. Talk to me. We can talk about it there. And depending on what you say, child, it might have me kick in so hard. I mention it next week when I do the review. Well, anyway, 6.58. Damn, seven minutes of me just running my mind. I can't stand on my brain. Had that part in the middle of it. Hold on. Child, is a squirrel done got in my attic? Child, I think, that, I think the squirrels have infiltrated the attic again. I'm going to have to hurry up and make this video and, and lay their paws and I so I can kill them. But anyway, um... We, this episode, uh, what I remembered, y'all, he, and excuse any noise y'all may hear, cause Jalen is in there having a fit in the toy room. I don't know, he might be rearranging his toy room, child. You know, he got his own little special room for him to sleep in, then I got him his own toy room with all his gadgets and playstations and shit, everything in there, child. That boy, spoiled. But anyway, um... Let me get talking about this here for y'all be like, bitch, you could have just did it. Okay. Jim goes on finally after David urged him several times. He gone on over there and he start oh shit. I Miss B. I love it. Thank you so much again. Okay, now maybe I can get to my review. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all y'all know I'm long winded. Y'all y'all used to this shit by now. I've been here for a while. But anyway, uh yeah, so we're going to, uh, on this episode, Jim finally carries his ass on down there to the jailhouse because he, he finally realized, you know, it's time for him to go take care, you know, go check on his son because David was on his ass last week about it. And when he get down there, the guards that he had hired to, you know, look out for Wyatt and stuff, why my titties always look so goddamn long in here? Y'all, I swear these motherfucking double D's be right. I don't know why it be looking like that. But anyway, um... He get down there to that jail house, and them folks tell him that his son been sexual assault, sexually assaulted. So now he want to start swinging on people and nutting up in the car, not acting a damn fool. But my thing is, you should have never... Child, I told y'all last week, this motherfucker is not the type of patriarch I'm used to seeing, especially when it's supposed to be a powerful family. Well, he get upset and starts swinging on the guards and stuff, and they point him in the direction to this guard that was on, you know, the black guard that was on duty that night that told Wyatt to fight, you know, and shit like that, when Wyatt was telling him that man was trying to take his, take his uh, boy puss and stuff. Well, baby Jim ain't give two fucks at this point. He upset because he know once again you allow something to happen to one of your kids. You wasn't in control of this thing. And um, so 
He gets the, you know, going off on the man, telling the man that he going to check into his background, check into his bank account. He going to, you know, he going to do, you know, he going to know his every fucking move. And if anything comes up suspicious, uh, he'll murder him in front of his family. Now, as a parent, I can understand where that came from because, trust me, if somebody do something to one of my four pack, I'm probably going to lose my damn mind. But Jim has to take responsibility. You put your son in harm's way. You know what I'm saying? Now, I thought the guard was going to possibly, you know, spill tea or something because I'm sure he knew about the deal with Veronica, okay? But he didn't mention nothing about it. But Jim did threaten say he's going to keep out on everything. I guess he said he's going to do that background check and check into the man's bank account because if he's seeing it, you know, large sums of money being deposited into it, he going to get at his ass because he going to know he had been paid off to allow that to happen to Wyatt. Well, Jim go into another section of the room, or the, another office area, and he breaks down crying. I ain't really had no compassion for that because if you were the type of father you should have been in the beginning, this could never happen. Your daughter would still be alive and everything else. You failed your family. And that's just a part of what can happen if you child this goes right along with that video i did last night about the state of marriage today and our responsibilities to our children if you ain't see it go watch that video because i, I detail i outline this shit you know as best i could telling you what i what my opinions about you know things like that is okay well like i said we ain't going in order because i don't remember shit um the next thing we saw was uh, David and Maggie, I do believe. David, uh, remember last week, Maggie had took David over there to the uh, tow yard, and he was in, she was in there fucking um, Benny and things like that. And um, as Maggie then was pulling up for her to show David that, David thought that she was talking about that car that Wyatt was driving, but Maggie don't even know nothing about that, y'all. He, she was bringing him there to show him that Veronica was in there cheating on him, you know, where she's cheating with him, which I don't know why she did it, because really, as we saw, Veronica ain't really trying to hide nothing. I mean, she already told the man before she was, you know, she was going to be fucking around on him. She told him again this episode, but, um... David go into this damn speech about how much he loved his wife. And I'm here for that. Then again, I'm not here for that. Because when love becomes deadly, I don't want no parts of it. And that's exactly what has happened in his situation, which takes me into a conversation that him and his son, Jeffrey, was having. Jeffrey come down there to the headquarters of the campaign office, and he'd say, uh, you know, he asking his dad, why you keep putting up with the stuff she do? He tell her everything that Veronica has done to him. He started saying, you know, he told him about the apartment that Veronica removed his name off of and put Melissa's name on, the girl pregnant, and all this shit that, you know, Veronica has been doing to him. Well, he say, you know, uh, David was telling Jeffrey he was going to, you know, get him another place and all that. And they, this is, child, this the best thing he could have did. He told him, now nah, he think he going to try to take care of it on his own. I think he's going to wind up living with Candace if you know, want to know the truth, but he did tell his dad, now nah, I want you to take care of that there part for me. Now, I ain't seen him get him credit cards back, but he told his dad he was going to try to get on his own feet, go back to school, get a job, and provide his own way of living so that Veronica don't have control over him to the degree that she does. Well, he asks his dad, you know, why, why are, you, are you scared of her? And David, you know, David try to be a good man. I believe he is a good man. It's just damn, dude. How much how much can this woman do to you before you put your foot down? Well, and that's basically what his son was saying. You let her get away with everything. You know, she done did so much stuff and you do nothing time and time again. Well, David, I'm not, you know, he talking about I'm not afraid of your mother. I love her. I I, I love David for being that type of man, but child please. Only person got that kind of unconditional love to that degree that I know about is Jesus Christ. And since David ain't him, it's okay to boot that bitch up and walk away from her ass. But he don't do it. 
He, I guess that talk with uh his son made him feel some kind of way because we see him getting on the phone with uh calling Veronica ass and Shane Anson. And he left her a message telling her to get her ass down there right now. <laughs> okay, David, whatever. That was cute. A uh, good. Uh, I'll give him a a C for effort. Cause that baby, you know, he can't really control this woman. <clears throat> All right. Next thing I remember was seeing um Benny and and Candace. She invites him over there to see the new house that she's purchased. He gets there, he excited or whatnot, you know, he's saying it's a nice home and all of that. Before he got there, Oscar was there and he asked it uh did she want I'm trying to see if somebody pulling in my yard, but okay, and I don't think that's the neighbors backing up. Okay. Well, she's saying, um she telling him her brother's on the way, so you know, go ahead on and leave and stuff. So he doing and Benny get there, Benny impressed. You know, Benny always impressed. He just crazy as he wanna be. Now why Candace didn't prepare herself for the questions that were gonna obviously come, I don't know, but she didn't. And of course, Benny, just like Hannah, they can't just accept certain things in life. They just got to ask a lot of questions. I guess it's because of Candace's the history. They don't really trust her, so they don't, you know, anything she offer or give, you know, they going to always side eye her and question her down. And I don't understand why you got to do all that because either you in or you out. Y'all, that burn is healing and it's itching like a motherfucker, but okay. Uh... She's telling him, well, if you like this, come on, I got something I want to show you. So she takes him to the second house that she actually had purchased for him. And he starts saying about he wanted Hannah to come stay there with, with, you know, with him. Now, if you asking her 101 questions, how many you think Hannah going to ask both of y'all? Candace was telling him, don't tell her. Well, he said, I already told about the tow truck business. Because he don't like to tell no lies or nothing like that to her. So he told her the truth. And Candace telling him, well, maybe we should get her another home or something somewhere else. And he's like, well, I'm not leaving mom in that hood. Child, they bet me because I'm telling you something. She'll be left in the motherfucking hood. I'll be coming to check on her because who would take that opportunity and roll with it? I would go on on with the business. She done bought this business. I would, I would make sure everything's straight. Getting my business up and running, honey. Oh, this is irritating me to the fullest, y'all. Oh, you just don't know this is irritating. But, yeah, she gonna... I take my business in my new house and move on and, and go on, on. Make sure there ain't no way I can get fucked out of my shit and keep it moving. If Anna too crazy to understand that that could be... God's way since she always trying to talk about God, that may be God blessing you to get out the hood because it might be time for you to go. But if she ain't want to go there, I'd be goddamn if I stay in the hood with her when I got this big, beautiful home. And, of course, Benny started asking her questions. She like, I bought these houses on foreclosure. So, I don't know what he going to do because he's adamant that he wants to bring Hannah with him. And if he can't bring her with him, then he ain't going to live there too. And my thing is, y'all some stupid motherfuckers. I told you he a fine piece of dummy. I can't but him. What else happened on this episode? Uh, Veronica did show up after David left her that message talking about she didn't appreciate him, how he left it on there and... Shit, the bitch told a motherfucker that he was that she was cheating on him. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. But she said it, and y'all know what David did. He thought she was lying. He didn't take it seriously. So I mean, I don't. I'm running out of shit to say to her about this woman. She just pure evil. I will be so glad when she gets some type of retribution for everything that she's done because episode after episode, we see her continually stab this man deeper in his heart and he really trying to be there for her. He really one of the men that believe in to death do us part. And this motherfucker, it almost happened. She, she tried to kill your ass. Did you forget that? But he's standing by his woman and whatever. Let's go back over to the prison. 
Now, I told y'all, David, I mean, uh, Jim went in that office and broke down crying, right? We thinking at this point he gonna go and take his son, you know, out of that jail, and he's gonna be apologetic and work toward doing better, cause he see how horrible of a father he has been. Not this motherfucker going there and why it is crying big and him dad take me out of here. He and he playing him. No, nah, I can't do that, son. You wanted to find out. I mean, you want this is the type of things that happen in prison. Not once did he say, oh, son, I'm sorry for what happened to you or nothing. He just don't give a fuck. Playing it like it's no big deal. Well, he did take the boy out of there and he went to the house and stuff, you know. And we saw that he called Jeffrey. Now, child, you know what just happened to him. And you know what Jeffrey is. He told Jeffrey, come get me out of here. I don't care where we go, just take me somewhere. Wonder where he gonna take him. Child. Jeffrey and why you might hook up. I mean, ain't like it's unfamiliar territory to Jeffrey now. I mean, I mean to uh, why you now. And I ain't being mean. I'm just saying sometimes, you know, I already felt like he had a little in him. But this may be the catalyst that going to push him on out there and him and... Jeff and Ryan up together, but right now they just best friends, and so Jeff came and got him and told him, you know, he told him take him somewhere, and, and of course Jeff was going to do it because he a good friend, okay? Well, we see Catherine and Jim, and they're preparing to do this press conference down at the uh, campaign headquarters. Okay, we get in there, and the uh, reporter is asking him, you know, about his children, and he says he has two beautiful children. He's just sorry that Amanda's not right, you know, here anymore with him. And the reporter later switched that shit on Jim so fucking quick. That bitch went to talking about, because see, Celine, remember last week, y'all, Celine had got kicked the fuck up out of there at the campaign office. And she told David, this ain't the last you'll see of me. Well, child, she must be the one decided her and her son to have that interview that they, her son was having when she walked in and told him no. Apparently, Celine has had this interview. Told y'all, when a woman fed up. She didn't had that interview with them people. She didn't told them about them two children, and that lady brought that up. She hit them dead in the face with them two extra kids. Catherine looked like she was ready to shoot somebody. It looked like it could have been Jim, the reporter, anybody. She was just ready to kill and Jim was like, this is a travesty. And, of course, Maggie is trying to shut the, uh, set the conference down. Because I don't know if this was live or not. But, child, he got busted with the knowledge that people know about that baby. Them two kids he got. And the woman was very, the woman wasn't helping. Hell, she, the, you know, reporters don't give a fuck. They get the tea, honey. She went to telling him about why does he have his Two kids by her living in the lower part of the city. In the projects damn near. Child, that's something to be think about. You didn't have this affair with this man. And that's why I understand why Celine held on so long. Because, girl, this man had you employed as a maid in his home. And then on top of that, after you done said it, you've been having an affair with him for years. Then bore two children. These ain't even kids. It's like a teenager and an, and an adult now. And you got your kids. He got you and your kids living in a project. And you actually felt like, well, I don't know. It could be like the, the Latino projects or something like that. Because it, it didn't look like, you know, too many of us was around. But I'm sure it was some, It's lower class, I tell you that. And my thing is, you so loyal to this man. And this is how he treated you. He been treating you like this for the long time. And you still was trying to stay loyal to him. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to be sleeping around, period. But if I'm going to sleep around, I'm not going to sleep with someone powerful and they have me sleep, have me and my kids living in destitute damn near situations. Are you kidding me? That just goes to show you how stupid some of these hoes is. Child, you ain't no real hoe because a real hoe wouldn't have been living somewhere very nice. Now, she might not have had no mansions, but that bitch would have had a condo somewhere in a decent neighborhood and them kids would have had the best in life just for her to keep her mouth closed. Celine, mm. in the words of my brother Sayshawn Bradley, it just ain't safe in a world full of weak ass bitches. And with that being said, y'all, that's the only thing I can remember off the T.O.P. 
I'll watch it next week yet again. And if it's anything I forgot, y'all put it down in them comments down there. This video already down there, 25 minutes, and it's too long for the haves and have-nots. In the meantime, in between time, please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with anybody that you feel may understand and like Lady Nika. And I'll see you guys on the next video, which will be in a few minutes, because I'm going to record again and tell y'all about how I got kicked out this nail shop. Peace.